Hi, my name is Eileen Galaretto. I'm here starting a camper convo with our COO, Ron Baker. Thank you for taking the time. Um, we have some new things happening and I'm really hoping Ron can share with us what's coming down the road. Yeah, I would love to. I think it'd be a great opportunity. Good. So tell us what brought you to CUNIS and where are we going? Yeah, so I, I joined CUNIS obviously, uh, or many may not know, last May. I actually came from 14 years in the RV industry. And so I've been working in the industry now for a while with two other competitors. I joined CUNIS after leaving a, a very large competitor for an opportunity to actually make a difference in the industry. I think there's just a lot of people blaming manufacturers and just going with the flow instead of actually wanting to make a change. CUNIS is about making that change and so it's it's good to be here. That was going to be one of my questions. Why CUNIS? What, what really spoke to you about this organization? I think three words that they stand by. Maybe it's four words, right? Faith, family, and giving back. Uh, that's really what started it all. Meeting Greg Kunis and an opportunity to realize that his heart is legitimately in the people that work for him. And he wants their heart to legitimately be in the customers that we service. And when it's not only spoken, but actually acted on, it allows you to make those changes and make a difference. So I think it's simple. I joined for that reason and want to make the changes. Okay, so share some of those changes. I would tell you it starts in, in 2024 with a 100% renewed focus on the customer's outcome. It seems simple, right? I mean, I think it even seems a little cliche maybe. But the reality is I don't think enough people care about the customer's true outcome. And I feel like our focus to get to that level is a, is a game changer. The unique part is what we call the customer though. So we just finished, as you know, four days of meetings with GM, service manager, sales manager, finance, and outlined what that customer focus is. Most importantly, who? In the CUNIS way, and that's what we're gonna call it. So when you hear it, you'll know it. It's the CUNIS way. In the CUNIS way, the customer is anyone who needs something from you that you have to provide. So if a salesperson needs to help a customer, that's a customer. But if they need help from the sales manager, the salesperson's the sales manager's customer. When we treat everyone like that, with that centered on their outcome, the end result to the external customer coming into our family is better. So how do you see that? How do you think the customers are going to receive that? How are the, how are the customers going to see what we're changing? Well, I think there's a few things. First, the first thing that comes to mind is when you, when you care for your employee, the same effort and desire and care you put to the employee, the employee puts to the customer. And so I think first we have to care about each other and actually have uh, a, a culture within the building where they know that we care, have their back, want their support. When we do that, then everyone that touches the external customer coming in will have that same care. That's first. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some more specifics though. How about for example, if you never had to drop your camper off very often anymore? What I if you- Drop it all. Yeah. Yeah. What if you could come to a camping facility, stay connected, have things fixed and diagnosed while we get parts for you, you keep your camper. You're still using it. If it's not camp critical, why wait weeks and weeks for a part? We actually want to diagnose it, fix everything we can in that hour, bring you back when the parts arrive. That's a big topic right now about parts and about how long it takes and and trying to keep the customer happy, because that's our goal, while we're waiting. How, right. how are we going to fix that? Well, keep in mind though, there's a few things. I'll tell you right now, CUNIS will not blame the manufacturers. In our industry, everybody wants to blame the manufacturer. Oh, the parts are late because of them. The parts late because they got it wrong. The parts late because they didn't ship it. We will not. You are our customer. And we have partnered with our manufacturers to give our customers the support that they need. So first of all, 
the best thing to do to change our industry and to change in the cunest way is stop blaming the manufacturer. We're going to be there for your, for our customers. They'll give you an example. We have a, if you didn't break it, we will fix it philosophy. Let me explain. If you buy a brand new unit from us in that first 90 to 120 days, when you come back to us, if you didn't break it, we're going to fix it. And then we'll work with the manufacturer to collect our warranty. But it's not your fault as the end user. So I'm not going to wait. You're not going to wait. Someone to make a call. You're not going to wait. To hear from the manufacturer <laughs> that never returns the call, whether they're going to cover that part or not. That's correct. Think about the time frame in that, right? You come in for standard manufacturer warranty fixes. You drop off your trailer in the old way. You wait three or four days to hear that they've checked it out. You wait two or three days to hear that the manufacturer may have not covered a few items. Then you get to the customer and the customers, why would I not be that covered, right? Why wouldn't that be part of the coverage? So they argue back. You finally agree, well, I guess it should be. Then you fix it. And it's a three week, four week process. With us, you won't unhook. We'll just fix it while you're hooked up. If we need parts, we'll order them, but you can keep the camper and we'll deal with the manufacturer to get paid. You didn't break it, we'll fix it in that first 90 to 120 days. That's an industry change. That That's I not something so. I, I think any RV customer has experienced. No. That's good. I, but it needs to be that way. That's our commitment to our customers and it's our partnership with the manufacturers to make sure the customer outcome, the cunest way, is real. So what else? What what else are our customers going to say? Parts. In our industry, we have a tendency to let parts build up um, and then call the customer and have them come in. Well, they never verify those parts. We actually verify our parts on the day of delivery before we go home. We offer our customers now an alternative to waiting. The three weeks. That's right. Or, so the manufacturer is three weeks out. We now have partnerships with vendors that we can get parts in two days. Now there could be a small upcharge to expedite the two days. But if I'm a customer, I would rather pay a small upcharge for two days than to wait for two months. We'll now give the options to do that. So if it's camp critical and we can get it in two days, let's get you back camping. If it's not camp critical and you don't want to pay a little extra, it's okay to wait but customers should choose that for their own outcome. That is different. So when you look at the employees of CUNIS, and I know spent a lot of time talking about training and, and kind of unlearning some processes and, and figuring out how we're going to make these things work. How do you think the employees are, are taking all that? Oh, they're gonna fail. Um, <laughs> let's just be really, really clear. <laughs> this is so industry changing that it's going to take a little while. And so one of the things that I believe in promoting is to fail harder. Um, I want them to take risks. I want them to take make choices. I want them to step up and do something. And they're going to fail. So I'll apologize to whoever's watching this right now when we fail. But we will learn from those failures and we're going to get it right. And so I, I feel like in the meetings we had, the employees are on board. Management is on board, but that's conceptual. That's not operational yet. Right. We got to go make it operational. And so as we get involved in it more, they'll learn that they have more authority. They'll learn that they can make choices. They'll fail several times, but we'll stick with this till we get it right. It's critical that we get it right. Anything else? What, what else might be out there that, that the customer is not expecting? Uh, I think just the centered aspect on what the outcome, right? Whether it's how fast did I get a part? How fast did I get a return phone call? What options did I have to drop off or not drop off? Uh, maybe that person can't stay hooked up. Uh, maybe no drop philosophy isn't good for them. Did we handle it right to get them dropped off and still turned around quickly? Those things are what we're going to change and we're going to use the different mechanisms we have to change those. That sounds great. That's Hold exciting. On. One other thing to keep in mind though, and something that we're gonna offer to our customers and in the process of putting together right now is video tutorials. Once you become a QNIS customer, you get access to a website with a code that allows you to get helpful tips, service and maintenance of your vehicle, 
um, how to do things you might have been shown in your walkthrough. Uh, we want you to be able to do a lot of that on your own, out in the field, not have to drop it back off. So it, it's not just about coming to us, it's about what we're trying to provide to where they are as well. Uh, it's, it's all about the outcome for them. As an RV owner, I appreciate all of those those items, all those things. So location-wise, in Cunis Growth, what are, what are we seeing there? Yeah, so we have locations now in uh, Wisconsin and Illinois. Uh, we are in the process of adding locations. Uh, obviously, I'm not at a point to discuss where those are yet, but I will tell you that in Illinois, Iowa, and Minnesota, we are trying to expand. The, the opportunity with Cunis is we'd like to get you know, into that 30 or 40 RV store range. That's um, incredible. Uh, so there's, I think there's opportunity for the employees growth. I think there's opportunity in the communities join and to be a part of it. And I think more importantly, there's an opportunity for the customer to feel a better type of service in RV when they experience the cutest way of doing it. Um, and the bigger we get providing that, maybe the more we can change the whole industry. That's exciting. It would be so, fun. Thank you for joining me. If there's nothing else we can share or let the cat out of the bag just yet, we will hopefully talk with you soon. There are some Thanks. specifics coming. Okay. Hang Excellent. on. Excellent. Great. <laughs> also, we might do those privately. We can't let this out to everybody. I was going to say. All right. <laughs> it's thank good you. to talk. Yeah. Thank you, appreciate it.